All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. As always, if you learn something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. So today, back in Tableau, and you've seen this dashboard before. Um, I call this my Superstore Training Dashboard. I use it to, um, you know, just show people how to do little uh, tips and uh, tricks here. It's very parameter driven. So if I change the uh, uh, some of the dimensions here, change to sales, you'll see things start changing. I can change the, the KPI um, from ship mode to, uh, to segment and things start uh, changing. And so I'm not going to go too in depth on this, uh, this dashboard. I do have a video where I talk a little bit more about this dashboard and uh, you know how you can reach out to me if you want to learn uh, some of the little tips and tricks on here. But in this video, I do want to show you uh, one trick. This is like the, um, this is like a well-known Tableau hack. Right, we're going to swap charts based upon a parameter. So if you take a look here, I've got a bullet chart, we've got a bar and bar chart, right? When I change that parameter, the chart changes and I have a combo chart, right? Looking at um, budgeted profit here, if I change this to, to profit, right? That'll, that'll change uh, to profit and this is just the difference month over month. And so I wanna show you how we set up um, this container to, basically handle three charts and we're going to use a parameter to do that so stick around uh, one thing that I'll note here this is a different technique you'll see if I toggle here uh, we go from that uh, that map to the to the tile map here and I can toggle back and forth and so this technique I talk about this technique in a video click the link up here and I'll take you to uh, how we how we do that technique but this is a different technique uh, then the uh, the chart swap here with the parameters. So it's a little different technique. So we will get into how we set up this, um, this parameter uh, chart swap technique here. Okay, through the miracle of editing here, you'll see I'm in a working version of the dashboard and we've wiped out our three charts. And so let's go into this version and we'll go to some charts here. And so I've got three charts that we're going to cram into uh, one container. Um, for your purposes, you can select any three charts or any two charts or five charts, however many you, you want. Um, but we're gonna use three charts in this example. So the first thing that we need to do, we have to set up a parameter. We have to create a parameter. So you're gonna do this. You're gonna go here. You're going to create a parameter and I'm not going to uh, create it from scratch. I already have a parameter created. It's called select a chart and let's go ahead. I'll go in here and edit and so you can see the setup. I named it select a chart. It's a string. It uh, doesn't really matter what the current value is, um, but let's go down here to allow you allowable values for list and you're going to type in the names of your three charts, whatever you want. I just happen to have bullet chart, bar and bar chart, and combo chart. I type those three in. Um, we'll, we'll keep these fixed. That's fine. And then I'll say, okay, here, you're going to create this from scratch. I already had this created. And so the next thing you do, once you create the parameter, you have to create a calculated field. So I will do that here with you. We're going to create a calculated field and let's call it uh, selected chart, something to that effect. And what we're going to put in selected chart is our parameter, right? Select a chart. That was the name of our parameter. That's all it's going to hold. When you select a parameter, the value is going to show up in this calculated field very simple so we have selected chart as our calculated field here so how do we apply it we have to apply this uh, calculation to our three charts that we want to swap uh, in and out so we're going to set that up here in a second all right let's put our calculated field to work right and i like to do Let's do that selected chart. I'm just going to filter that out. Let's put that on the filters and we're going to go here to custom value list. 
And so this is my um, bullet chart. So the first thing I'm gonna type in here is bullet chart, just how I have it in my parameter list. So bullet chart, gonna add the plus, and then I'm also gonna select all. We're gonna say okay. And you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna show the filter. And what I can do here is when I get a bullet chart, you see it shows up. And then when I go to anything else, nothing shows up. So that's what that's the effect we want, right? We filtered it to just show when it shows bullet chart and all. So let's go on to our next chart. And this is our um, uh, bar and bar chart, right? Showing the uh, the profit versus uh, budgeted. So this is the uh, the budgeted profit. And uh, this is the profit. Again, if you need if you need help setting up any of these charts, uh, go watch the uh, the video where I talk about this uh, dashboard, and maybe you can uh, reach out to me. We can figure something out. But anyway, um, we're gonna take selected chart. We're gonna put that in the filters just as we did last time. We're gonna go to custom value list, and this is my bar and bar chart. So I'm gonna type it exactly uh, how I have it in the parameter list. So bar and bar chart. Let's add that. And then let's add all as well. Add that plus, say okay. And so now when I select the bar and bar chart, it shows up. When I select anything else, it does not. Bar and bar chart. And then rinse and repeat, same thing for, uh, for my next chart here, for the combo chart. Bring the filter in. Oops, I must have dragged the uh, wrong thing in here. Let's take selected chart and bring that in. There we go. We're gonna go to custom value list again. And this is my combo chart. Type that in, hit the plus, hit the plus after we type in all, say okay. And so now this should be filtered for when I select combo chart that shows up. And when I select anything else, it doesn't show up. So that is how we set up our parameter and our calculated field to work with the charts that we want to cram into one container. And so now let's go back to our dashboard and you'll see I have a space uh, ready for my three charts. And so this technique only works after you've set up um, that calculated uh, field to work with the filter and the parameter. Uh, if you don't have that set up, um, you won't be able to cram all three in in a way that you would expect. <laughs> so let's just start taking things and cramming them into the space here. I'll bring that in and let's hide the title. So I must have that selected and you'll see things start showing up here and I don't need this, let's get rid of that. Um, we'll, we'll bring this down eventually. You, you see it's on bullet chart, that's why it's here. So the bullet chart shows up. Let's grab the um, uh, the bar in bar chart. We can, eh, we can bring it down here and we wanna hide the title. Whenever we bring it in, we wanna hide the title and you'll see how it crams down to like one uh, length. So if I go to my uh, bar and bar here and I look at the layout, you'll see the height is one. And you can only do that um, if you set up the parameters um, like we did. You can get it down to that height of one. So that's the trick. It's, it's so small that it doesn't show up. And so we'll take our last, we'll take the combo chart here and we'll also drag it in here. Um, the title will show up. Let's hide the title. And it also gets that height of one. So as you start cramming more and more charts in here, you will start to see a little bit of a difference at creeping up, but it takes a lot of charts. And so we've crammed all three of our charts into here, right? So now let's, uh, again, let's, these things kind of show up on the dashboard. Um, this is our parameter control and I can go in there. If you don't know how to get that to show up, you know, you can go in here parameters and have the um, select a chart uh, parameter show up, but it auto automatically showed up. And I'm just gonna go in here and uncheck show title. I don't wanna see that. Uh, this is what I want to see. And I already have these containers set up. Again, the link up top show you how to uh, format your, uh, your dashboard and do fancy things with containers. So now uh, if we come in here, this should be working as we anticipate. There's our bullet chart. There is our bar and bar chart. 
And there is our combo chart, just as we anticipated. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. I, be, I believe this is something, this is one of those hacks that you need to know. It's not very intuitive, but it's just one of those hacks as you get really good with Tableau that you have uh, in your bag of tricks. You have this in your arsenal to pull out uh, when you need to save some space on your dashboard. So again, happy to share this tip with you. If you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment. And as always, get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.